And I want to talk to you from this, this thought today, change your mindset. Can you put that in the chat right there? Change your mindset. Today, I want to talk to you about mindsets. Power over your thoughts is pivotal if you're going to thrive as a leader. Change from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. I am becoming who I look like this year is not who I looked like last year. He's saying, you don't take the new thing and put it on the old thing. No, 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 no. The new thing belongs with the new thing. We want to be a part of the new thing that you are doing. Let us be transformed today by the renewing of our mind. Let us change from a concerned mind mindset to a confident mindset. I don't want to be trapped in fear. I don't want to be paralyzed. I want to step into the future that you have for all of us. Got to have a greater appetite, guys. You got to do me a huge favor. All right? Somebody asked me, like, E.T., come on, man. I think it's a bit much that you said the Nobel Peace Prize. Let me say this to you guys. Let me tell you why I said Nobel Peace Prize. Because I said a four-year degree and I got it. I said a master's and I got it. I said a PhD and although it was difficult, we're at the end of the process, we'll finish up in a couple months. I said the Nobel Peace Prize because I don't know how long it's gonna take to do it. Listen to me very carefully, they, can I say this? They sell cars, they sell homes, you can get those. We're wired differently. We have to set a goal that if we hit that goal, we're guaranteed to make sure all that other stuff in the middle is gonna happen. All right, so I need you to do me a huge favor. I, I, I need you, your appetite. So E.T., why three o'clock in the morning? Why don't you sleep? My appetite, my appetite. I say, E.T., I want more, I can do more. If I accomplish this without a father, would I, if I accomplish this with my mom being a teenage mom, if I accomplish this as a high school dropout, now that I have people like Glenn in my life, now that I have people like Bob Proctor in my life, now that I have people like John Maxwell in my life, what can I accomplish now? If I can accomplish these things from this start, now that I'm at this place, knowing what I know now, what can I come? And I want you to think about that. I want you to think about more than just what you're going to do financially, more than what you're going to do in this industry in the next three years, right? More than that, I ask you the question, what's your appetite? What are you, what are you going to do that will in, in ensure that when the alarm clock goes off, that you are already up 10, 20 minutes before your alarm clock goes off? Why? You've heard me say it before, no alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. Listen to me, no alarm clock needed. When Glenn said six o'clock, I don't know how it happened. Jet lag and all, went to sleep about three and the body just boom, 540, woke me up. Hey guys, it's time to get up. We gotta go to the lobby at six o'clock. Nine o'clock AM call, 11 o'clock our time. I don't know what happened, but boom, five minutes before 11, the body woke me up. No alarm, I haven't used an alarm clock in over 20 years. What is it? Internally, Eric, I wanna be successful. I wanna execute. I wanna make all my dreams become a reality. I wanna do everything I said I'm going to do. So my appetite increases. It gets stronger every year. I want more every year. I wanna do more every year. I wanna help more every year. I wanna be bolder. I wanna be better. I wanna be stronger every single year. Every single year, your appetite should go up. You should never get settled. You should never get settled. You should never get content. Every single year. I told you I've been married for 24 years. So you think after 24 years, ET could just go to Australia, right, and just chill. Nope, nope. I'm asking my wife, what are you wearing before I leave? Because I want to iron your clothes for the 11 days when I leave. I, what are you wearing? I call my son. I need you to make sure the meal prep. I need to make sure the bed is clean. I need to make everything I do, son, I need you to do it. And I'll give you a couple, I'll, I'll wire you a couple dollars, son. Just take a picture of it and I'll wire you. Why? Because when you get content, when you settle, somebody's chasing you. Somebody's coming from behind and somebody's trying to take your spot. And so every single day when you wake up, you got to set new goals, new benchmarks. You got to raise it higher and higher and higher.